When you're riding in the car, you insist that your family members wear a seat belt, but what about your dog? A recent study shows only 16% of people who travel with dogs in the car safely restrain them. Gregory Castle and Brian Moody have some advice on keeping our pets happy and healthy on long car rides. Gentlemen, nice to talk to you today. How you doing? Thanks for having us. Doing well. Okay, so let's talk about what we need to know about keeping our pets safe in the car. Gregory, why don't we start with you? Sure. Well, first of all, be prepared. Uh, take your dog out uh, for a walk before you get started. Make sure they've had water, food. Make sure that they are, have some toys with them and also any kind of help that you need to clean up any messes that may, may occur. And of course, you've got water in the car. All those things are important to start with. When you get to the point of um, safety, it's also important to restrain the dog in the car. A small dog like Felicity here can go in a carrier and you can put the carrier in the back of the car, you can tie it down. Be sure you do tie it down. Also, with a large dog, there are harnesses you can buy which will have a short leash and that will clip into your seatbelt. That's a great way. Best Friends advises you not to keep the dog in the front of the car. If you have an accident and the uh, airbag goes off, that's, that's explosive. That can kill. That's very mm -hmm. important. Um, Brian, talk about what kinds of cars are best for transporting our pets. If we are a pet family, what should we be looking for when we're buying a vehicle? You know, it depends on the size of your dog and it depends on the needs of your family, but we actually came up with a list of cars that we think are very pet friendly or should be on your list when shopping for a newer used car. For example, there's this Kia minivan behind us that works well because it has big sliding doors on the side, making it easier to get that pet carrier that Gregory was talking about into the car or just having your dog hop up into it. We also like the Jeep Renegade. That's a nice little crossover compact SUV. It has a big hatchback door and a fold down rear seat. And also cars that are a little bit less expensive, like say the Subaru Crosstrek. It has again, the hatchback style door and you can get it as a hybrid, but there are many brands of cars that will work. Like in, in Nashville, I know Nissans are popular. Uh, you know, there's lots of cars that have big hatchback style doors and that makes it easy, but also maybe cars that have air conditioning vents in the back. Look for the features first and then make the brand work for you. Yeah, that's one of the things we're thinking about in Nashville while the weather continues to be really, really hot. What do we need to think about uh, in terms of heat with our dogs in the car? Very important point. If the temperature is over 70 degrees, Best Friends recommends that you do not leave your pet in the car, just like you wouldn't leave a kid in the car. That heat builds up very quickly and it can kill, literally. And, or, or, you know, it's just very uncomfortable for the animal. So make sure that you take the dog out if the temperature is over 70 degrees. I know it probably pains you when you see a car riding down the road with a dog, uh, you know, with a head hanging out the window. The dogs seem to really enjoy that. But safety purposes, is there ever a time that that's okay? It's not a good idea. I mean, if you're going really slowly, maybe it doesn't matter. The dogs do love it, you're right. But it's best not to. There are pebbles flying around, you know, those things which hit your windscreen. There's uh, bugs as well, which can, which can get in the eyes and that type of thing. It's really best not to. Probably more important just to get there safely and then have fun with your pets when you're there. Good point. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate you being with us today. There are links on our website to find out more about safe travel with your pets. Just go to newschannel5.com.